the home side who really are void with confidence. Matt Sadler has got them playing some scintillating football. The 4-0 win over Colchester at the weekend. Yes, there were a couple of late goals for Jack Earing, but they really did dominate. They looked excellent, and they could have had more than the four. Mackenzie Hunt set this one up, and this is good for Fleetwood to push forward, but just lacked a bit of quality in the end. Now, is this an opportunity to break away? Lake in with it. Can he get into the box and get his shot away? Can it's deflected? Or is it? No, it's a goal kick. Straight out of play. Lakin looking to double his tally for the season. He's got one in eight thus far. Just took it a bit wide on his left boot. It's half clear. Braden, who was back doing his defensive duties, is Barrett. Barrett does get his cross in, and it was headed. of the way through the game Fleetwood other than going big from back to front rarely do this frankly this looks better and more cultured and it could be an equaliser it is it's a wonderfully worked move from the visitors great and instrumental and a super finish Just look at the through ball, tied to perfection, outside of his right boot for Coughlin, his fifth of the season. On either side, just have a little bit of quality then before the break. That's a better ball and a good ball, here's Liam Gordon. Good ball in, Lakin tries the cross, another corner to Walsall. As well defended in fairness from the substitute defender Reese Bennett. 20-year-old got his body in a good position, but just seconds before the break, a corner is important. A good header and could still go in. He's bobbling around in the box. Where is he going to go? He goes in. It's Jameer Mack claiming it. It's not as pretty a strike, but he'll take it. Just before the break, he puts Walsall back in the lead. This round of applause, incidentally, is for Roger Johnson, the club's former groundsman, who sadly passed away. A round of applause in the 27th minute by all here at the Poundland Basket Stadium. It looked like handball or a foul. The referees allowed play to continue, and it's with Mackenzie Hunt. Brilliantly won back, and Mackenzie Hunter having his pocket picked. Is that a shot from distance? It may have been from Nathan Lowe, and although folk may laugh at it, and he's getting a few wolf whistles, Nathan Lowe, I think he saw the goalkeeper Harrington out there. It's ambitious, I'll grab you in his own half, but he sees the keeper out. Tony Adams will know that his team are hanging in the game here. They're doing OK, 2-1 away at this stage at Walsall whilst the timing of the goal will have been disappointing they're still in the game here Fleetwood and they've proven already they can score here so attendance 4,237 incidentally 79 79 that could be a penalty down goes indeed it is a Fleetwood penalty it was a foul on Coughlin and there are claims it's outside the box, huh? It's a penalty. 
Cochran then to equalise here for Fleetwood. He scored one, can he bury it for his second? Yes is the answer! A bit of going into the wall so fans, but it is an equaliser for Fleetwood. It's a poor tackle and a poor penalty to concede, but Fleetwood have buried it and they are back level. Jack Hearing on, and how about Adoma, who recently celebrated the 700th game, but he might have a team. Oh, it's come back here as the ball deflected wide. Well, they have made a real pig's ear of that one, have Walsall. They look rocked. Fleetwood on the front foot. Here comes the corner. There's a winner in this, and he's in the ball. your decision, help us out, it is a goal! Well, there was confusion everywhere! There are boos echoing around the Poundland Basket Stadium, but the corner whipped in, goalkeeper can't get there, and on the line, well, who's claiming that? An interception here. Here's Danny Mayer. Mayer looks forward to trying to find Cochran. The top rower, he thought he had a hat trick, but the third goal for the visitors given to Hughes. Mackenzie Hunt winning a free kick. soon for the home side. Stuck. Gordon. It's a good cross. And a free header and he's in the post. That should be three. The substitute Johnson knows it. A free header at the back post. A real chance with six minutes to go to give Walsall a goal. give the Saddlers a bit of confidence that that header they just hit the post although it could be game over here it is that's it five they've been hit for tonight Warsaw Massey Virtue seals the deal they've only conceded four goals this season Warsaw they've been hit for five Shot from distance has gone in through the sick. Half a dozen for Fleetwood tonight, having been 2 1 down at the break. A shot from distance and half a dozen goals. Fleetwood have scored five second half goals unanswered. An opportunity to get one back for Walsall. It goes wide. It was Danny Johnson again, who hit the post a few, maybe 10, 15 minutes ago. And I suspect after this corner, that will be that. The ball dropped, free kick given. Foul on the goalkeeper, rightly. He's had a tremendous game, by the way, referee Dale Baines. And he blows the whistle, the full-time whistle goes. There's a little bit of afters going on as well. Harrington is going to be spoken to by the referee and indeed booked. But he can smile. 
It's a huge win for Fleetwood Town. They were 2-1 down at the break. And Charlie Adam will be delighted. Overjoyed. Two away wins. Full time. It's Walsall 2, Fleetwood Town 6.